Hello, it's Nick. Today I want to show you how to create icons in Figma. I will create three icons. Profile, Menu and Mail. First, let's zoom in Canvas. The standard size of icons are 16 by 16 for small icons, 24 by 24 for medium, 32 by 32 for large and 48 by 48 for extra large. For my examples, I will choose medium size, which is 24 by 24. Let's create a frame of the size of 24 by 24. Next, we need to create a layout grid for our frame to make it easier to position elements in it. Set a size of a grid to 1 pixel and make the red lines more contrasting by changing the percentage to 25. After that, we need to create another grid, and this time it will be a column grid. This grid will help us achieve the right horizontal padding for our icons. Let's choose a two-column stretch grid. And create another grid for the frame. This time it will be a row grid. Set the number of rows to 2. This grid will help us achieve the right vertical paddings for our icons. Now we have the right padding that surrounds the life area of our future icon. Let's create a profile icon. There are multiple ways of creating icons, but using simple geometric objects is by far the easiest one. I will choose a rectangle and position it at the bottom of the frame. Very important moment. When designing icons, you need to maintain a consistent stroke width for all parts of the icon. So I will choose two pixels as a stroke width and I will reuse it in all three icons. Now, when we have a bottom part of our icon, we can use ellipse to draw the top part. Change the stroke width of the ellipse to 2 pixels. Let's also make the bottom part rounded to make the icon look more friendly. Select the rectangle and in appearance section change the corner radius to 2 pixels. Great! We've just created our first icon. Let's copy the frame and put our copy next to the first icon. Rename the frame of the first icon to Profile and give the name Menu to the second frame. Delete all objects from the second frame so we can use it as a canvas. For the Menu icon, I will use a more sophisticated design tool, which is called Pen. But before we start using Pen, it's important to double check that we have Snap to Pixel Grid enabled. This setting will help us attach the lines we draw using a pen to the pixel grid that we have. So I will use a pen to draw a square. After that, I will change the stroke width to 2 pixels. Next, I will need to create three lines using a pen. This is a fairly simple exercise. At the end of this exercise, you should have four vector objects one square and three lines. Since we decided to use rounded corners for our icons, let's also set rounding for our objects. For the square object, in the stroke section, we can click settings and choose round, and Figma will round corners for our square. For lines, in stroke section, we can set different styles for the beginning and end of the line. I will choose the round style for the both beginning and end of the line. After changing the style of the lines, you will notice that the lines are slightly longer now, so we can play with the size of the lines a bit to make them smaller. Let's also distribute the spacing equally between lines and check that they are positioned right in the center of the frame. Great, we designed our second icon. Let's copy our frame so we can use it for our third icon. This time we will create a mail icon. And since the mail icon is a bit too complex, we will use a visual aid that will help us position elements properly to achieve visual balance. This aid is called Key Shapes. I will draw an ellipse. Add a stroke. and change it width to 0 
Next, I will add a square with the same stroke style. And I will also need two rectangles. The vertical one and the horizontal one. Lastly, select all objects and group them. Change group name to key shapes. Now the magic time. I am drawing an envelope shape using a pen. Now I can use key shapes to position my envelope properly to achieve a nice visual balance. I am using a horizontal rectangle for that. Also, I will add a seal flap, so I will use a key shape to find the right angle for the flap. Since we are using rounded corners, let's also add rounding to the flap too. We finished creating all three icons. What we can do next is put them side by side and visually inspect them to confirm everything is fine. Let's hide the grid by pressing I icon in the layer grid section for all our icons. And for the mail icon, we also need to hide the key shapes group. Once we confirm that everything is fine, we can export all icons to use in our project. We can select the three frames, scroll down to the export section, click plus and change the format from PNG to SVG. Once we click export layers, we will get the archive with our vector icons. That's all. Please share your experience of creating icons using Figma in the comments. Thank you.